I'm just hearing calls about a spider. It sounds like a redback. What's going on? Is there a redback or something? Is there? Yeah. Oh! Oh! What was that? Oh. Danger! Washing basket. Where is it? Can you show me? It's over here in the veggie garden. In the veggie garden. Watering can. In a watering can. It hey, hey, take it easy. Take it easy. Let me come down and investigate. Warning, warning, this highly educational video about spider control contains scenes of deadly spiders, and lots of them. If you have a fear of spiders, this video is not for you. And you watch the YouTube demonetization bot take this video out in a flash. My son's just put up some danger tape here because that's what we do when we find the spiders now. Mummy, can you explain what you found? Oh, I just about the year watering can for my seaweed solution. Yes. And I see the funny web there, and I fill up the water. Okay, yeah. When I come Let back, and see. I see the red back flow on the okay, top. Okay, well, definitely the web there is metallic, it's nice and warm, it's the right time of year. If I bring my little monkey tool in here. Oh, yes, I can see her. Oh, there she is, and she's, uh, very sprightly. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with her. I've said to my family to be extremely careful. Uh, this is the redback season. So I've got a sneaky suspicion. Uh, she is just behind the lip here. I think it's a smaller female. There she is. Okay, yes. Um, she'd be all fanged up and ready for action. Ugh. And see how she's on the handle there. Imagine if you came with your hand like that. Boom. Okay, you're going to get a nasty bite, aren't you? That's why uh, they're so dangerous. That there is a silhouette of spider death. What I'm going to do, uh, she is on the handle there. I'm just going to pick up <laughs> from the top here and very gently bring it across to uh, somewhere where I can deal with this spider in a very special way. There's a nice clear shot of her doing a little bit of sun baking. And I've got a little special friend that's going to well, change her day. I'm really pleased just seeing where that redback spider was hanging out. What have you learnt by seeing that? Uh, you have to be much more careful in our garden. You have to be extremely careful, especially around those Tonka toys, don't you? Yep. I'm just going to get my son to wet the grass around this area here in preparation for Mrs. Redback's demise. Okay, I'm just eyeing up exactly where Mrs. Redback is. That's the last time we're going to see her alive. Good night, sister. She's down an instant and she has died immediately, extremely fast. Zero spider anguish. <laughs> it's an extremely fast method for spider control. It's one of my favorite. Uh, you're not near the spider when you're taking it out. It's not running after being hit with insecticide. Always curious whether it's got spider eggs going on the side there. It may have. It's quite bulbous in the back. And we'll just see what comes out. Yes. Well, as far as I'm concerned, all the females are breeders. So that was the female, of course. Uh, the males often lurk around where the females are hanging out. So I'm just going to give that a lick of fire in case there's another spider there. Okay, it'd be a good night, sister, if there was. And the fire marshal here can now come and cool down the area and wash that spider away. Thank goodness for fire marshals. That looks good, that looks good. That was a great lesson for mummy. That is my wife, we call mummy my wife, I know it confuses people. There is another zone over here, which I know has redback spider activity. I've been watching this for a couple of weeks now, and I think it might be a nice time to come and investigate what's going on under here. I'm not sure how much you can see under there, but it is completely riddled with what looks like redback spider web, so I can only assume the redbacks are under there as well. This wheelbarrow here has been oh, sitting here for months. When I started to see the spider activity going on a couple of months back, I said to my family, be very careful. I'll just uh, first off roll it over and show you what's going on. Of course, very carefully. Uh, the sort of spider that will recluse back to the web and not scurry on the ground. It's about the only uh, nice thing about them. Straight away, I can see the activity of um, juveniles here. I think this place is riddled with red backs, uh, completely riddled. If I come down here, 
Okay, I can see an egg sac there. Yep. Uh, I can see a red back down there in the wheel. This red barrow looks uh, very infested. I've actually just got a glove on, so infested it looks. I'll just carefully uh, bring it over to the little zone where I'm going to deal with this. You know how I'm going to deal with this, uh, don't you? I think it's the most effective way. Well, now I'm starting to get a much clearer look of what's going on here. Uh, curiously, there is ant activity going on there. Looks like a spider egg sac there. Maybe the ants have got into that. Uh, but what, oh man, what I find over here is uh, really, really gruesome. I would actually just say that possibly an egg sac has just hatched. I can see little spiderlings running around and ants basically taking them out. It's the wheel here, and I've just spun around to the sun, which has got the death sentence on it. And if I spin this around here, we'll start to see it a little bit clearer. Yes, uh, up in that wheel there, welcome to my nightmare. Egg sacs and large female redback. It's just this horrific spider show. The more I look here, the more spiders I see. There's another female just there trying to make a move for you. Uh, there's spiders moving everywhere here, okay? I also notice over here, and this is the first redback we saw, I hope it's the first one, there's actually a different spider there, whatever that one is there, okay, and there's the other redback uh, down on the wheel there. It's just a spider festival. I'll just get my son to wet around this area again, but please don't wet the burrow, that's my only instruction. I have to be careful here and plan my attack, I'll come in and I'll sweep across and try and get them in one foul hit, especially big mother up there. And that's one final look at uh, Big Beautiful Mother. I'm going to start where Big Mother is and work my way across. Here we go. In one foul swoop. Okay. Good night, sister. I love the smell of burning red back in the morning. Now, did you see any spiders scurry away then? Uh, no. Let's do a body count. Yep. I've got that there, and I'll pick the spiders out with my tweezers. Okay, I'll get Big Mother first. Okay, come here, Mother. Oh, yeah. Of interesting note, the egg sacs have been opened up on one side. We can see there are eggs in there, but the spiders haven't developed yet. Trying to pick these up is a little bit hard. It almost looks like uh, fried eggs. I can see a uh, little sister down here. Okay, got it. There's an extremely small, I believe it's a female red back here. Dead. There's that spider there. I believe that's a white tail. Okay, in fact, I'm sure of it. Because of the white tail, education is really important in this video. I think if anything sizable, uh, I've got uh, what I wanted to find. I was hoping to find a male. A snail has uh, become part of the collateral damage, and so did the ants. I can't see any ants here. Uh, but I'm just going to give one more lick of fire here because there are spiders set up in this lip here, and I know the fire is going to clean it out real fast. This is a great way of clearing out those webs. Does it real fast. Just up the other end now. So, there, yeah, come around, yeah. Okay, sorted. And there's also a web around the handle area there. Dusted. So I'm now declaring this barrow to be far, far safer. I can take the danger tape away. I can get my son to come in and wet it down. Okay, Fire Marshal, do your work. Yes, that was a rather nasty find. Way too many spiders under that barrow. That's it. He loves uh, wetting stuff down and Daddy loves burning stuff. It is just uh, a couple of weeks after Halloween, and this is the area here which is of much interest. I would believe that we have got some major redback spider activity going on here. Remember, I put a ton of WD-40 across some of these toys to see if it deters redback spiders, but you know what? I think it's done absolutely zero. If only Mrs. Cow could talk, imagine what she could tell you, hey? And she's seen a ton of stuff going on in front of her. The one thing which I would say that I have witnessed here a lot of, and I can see it going on now on the grater there, is ants. There seems to be some sort of ant colony activity going on, so that may have 
curbed some of the redback activity, but we're yet to investigate. The classic sign of redback is always the web, and it's all through here. Maybe you can't see it on camera, but boy oh boy can I see it in real life. Well, it's looking a whole ton cleaner and safer now, isn't it? My son's done a nice job of washing this off, and maybe, although I'm not sure, I may apply white lithium grease under here to stop the spiders coming back. Well, I'll take my spider haul here in one dead snail and we'll investigate it inside the garage so we can see a little bit clearer. Well, from the spiders here, I can actually deduce quite a few things of what's going on. The white tail spider was a ring in, in a sense. It's a different type of spider. This red back here that I'm just probing, that is a maturing female. You can see the whiteness around the red mark. You see that on the spiderlings. When the spiderlings are small, uh, they've got a mark which is like cream colored beige colored uh, which then turns into their red markings this one here that i'm probing now is a little bit older the whiteness around the red mark is gone there's a very small one here i don't think you can tell what's going on there because it's well it's all been frittered and fried i wonder who did that i've just probed it there that's a very small female as in spiderling type this larger female here now because i saw the egg sacs had the eggs and that's what's laying around here i would say she has just uh, set up those egg sacs and the other reason why I know that is because the back side of this one here is actually quite small when they're about to make an egg sac uh, This area here gets very large and scary Now the other thing about these spiders in particular the redbacks is they disappear during winter time And I started to see the activity underneath that barrow uh, Really from the end of August. So let's say September October mid-november what's two and a half months, isn't it? And this is what we have because I tell you what in the middle of winter, underneath the barrow there was nice and clean. It doesn't take them long to set up their little empire of death. I'm surprised uh, that somehow Mummy hasn't been bitten by one of these spiders because she does spend a lot of time in the garden, often with, <laughs> with the wrong sort of shoes and without gloves, and I'm trying to tell her you've got to be really careful. She saw the spider today in the watering can. Um, I think that's a big wake-up call for her. And, you know, every redback spider that I see gone is, uh, I feel, a good thing. And we'll finish the video like this. I'll just give this one a squeeze. You can start to see, hopefully, some web or something coming out the back here. That's the first thing you'll see. And then I don't think you can see any eggs uh, because I dare say this one has already laid up the eggs. And I can just tell by the size of her. Yeah, okay. It's a good night, sister, isn't it? Deadly pests, uh, don't be too attached to them, and we've got way too many of them about.